everybody. <laughs> I'm laughing because my daughter is telling everyone be silent here. Yeah. I hope you are doing well. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am so glad to come to you today after uh, quite some time. I'm hoping you are doing well in the Lord. For me, I thank God. The grace of God has been abounding for me for these few days that I've been away. I'm so glad to come again to you uh, concerning something um, that happened just recently. And it just reminded me something. I need to talk about um, the fact that God... Um, lets you know uh, major things in your life before they happen did you know that god lets you know of major things in your life before they happen but he doesn't let everyone know he only lets those people that are intimate and close with him to know those things you know he reveals things to people before they occur uh, when i say things i mean major stuff you know like um like even death like success that is coming that is looming uh even accidents um sicknesses um failure you know setbacks some major things that can happen in your life did you know that if you're close to god you are prayerful you are committed to the things of god you will always know things firsthand you will even know the secrets of the enemy before they happen you will know what the enemy is planning for your family before it happens you will be shown these things and the only secret or the only uh, shortcut to that is commitment to god prayer studying his word uh, and of course uh, the first step is being born again you know i'm, I'm saying this because uh, there are people who may be wondering why some things are happening in their lives and they are complaining blaming god but if you took a step to give your life to christ to be committed to god to begin uh, being a prayer or an intercessor, a prayer warrior or an intercessor, you begin studying the word of just being just being a lover of God. Then you begin to get the mysteries of the kingdom of God. You begin to get revelation of the things surrounding your life, your destiny, your family, and anything that has to do with your life. And so today, you know, the Bible says in Amos, in fact, I opened uh, Amos 3 verse 7, that uh, surely the Lord God does, does nothing unless he reveals his secret uh to his prophets um his secret counsel to his servants the prophets god can't do anything before he reveals it to his servants the prophets if you are a servant of god or if you are a lover of god you are a prophetic person and it is possible to know things before they occur you know for me i would say that because i, I am not I would not call myself a prophet. I would not call myself, oh, a certified pastor, a bishop, a what. But in my humble way of serving God, in my humble knowledge, the little knowledge that I have of God, I have been able to get mysteries concerning my life, revelation of things before they come to happen. I have had dreams that became a reality in my life. And I knew this is prophetic. God will not allow something tragic to happen before you are aware. Yes, it may be tragic. When it comes, it will really be bad. But then, somehow you are aware. You had seen it before. And the reason God shows us is because he wants us to handle it before it occurs. He wants us to pray about it. He wants us to, to declare, you know, to cancel it, you know. Just pray about it so that whatever happens, whether it has to happen, um, it will not be that extreme. Or if, 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 um, if it is that extreme, you had prepared in prayer, or God can even divert or evade it, because those, most of these things are coming from the enemy. So imagine knowing the secrets of en the, your enemy before they manifest. Why did I come to you with this message uh, today? It's because something happened yesterday that, that I was totally reminded that indeed, you know, God reveals things before they happen. So... Uh, the children had gone to school um it was a weekend and um my nephew uh, of course was in school and later he was supposed to be picked and so it happens the person who went to pick him <laughs> called and said he's not in school and of course that person arrived really late but then then he should have found him in school and so when we called the teacher the teacher said he left school so as a parent, you're hearing and you're wondering, what are you saying? You know, the teacher is saying the child left the school, so the child is not in school. It is, the, one hour is gone, the child is not home. 
So something has happened. <laughs> so the mother was crying. Oh my God, what's happening to my child? Oh my God, what's happened? And so you are all found, you know, frozen. You know, you don't know what to think. You know, as a parent, if you have a child, and knowing the things that happen when you when when your child doesn't come home, we've heard of children being kidnapped. We've heard of children uh, uh, getting accidents. You know. And then just having your child walk out of home and failing to come back home, you won't even want to imagine the feeling, you know. And before even I continue, I really, um, I'm sorry for those parents who've encountered such things where maybe you lost your child, your child was kidnapped in such cases, you know, I really, um, may God give you the grace. So in this situation yesterday, it was really tough on us because it was dawning on us that something has happened and the school doesn't know where the child is. And you know, it may have been a mistake also in the school because how did, 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 did the child leave the gate, you know, without anyone noticing that he had not been picked or he was picked by the wrong person, you know, such a situation. And I remember my mind, many things flashed in my mind, you know, one of the things that flashed in my mind was, I know, I know Ryan, he knows how to pray because we have raised these children to know God, to know how to pray in moments where they, they find themselves in trouble. You must know to whisper prayer. You must know how to call God. So in my heart, I was like, thank God he can call God. Wherever he is, whatever mess he might be in, he knows how to call God. And then another thing st uh, uh, struck me. I remembered, but I told God when I got to my room, but God, I haven't seen this thing. I didn't see it coming. Like, I, I didn't see it. I didn't have any dream. I didn't have any... Um, discernment that there was looming trouble ahead in the last few days because normally um i can get i i get those dreams or i get those revelations that there's something wrong that is going to happen so somehow i had a consolation in my heart that that maybe nothing wrong has happened to this child just because of that aspect because i know and know that if you are a prayer warrior, if you are walking with God, he will not allow you to be surprised by an event that he had not revealed in the past, you know. So I tried pondering and saying, did I have any dream, you know, did I overlook anything, you know, when I remember back to the things God has shown me, I didn't see anything uh, to do with Ryan anything wrong to do with Ryan. I don't remember anything or any any tragedy coming. So I was like, I didn't see this one. So wherever this boy is, nothing is good. Nothing wrong is going to happen. At the same time, I had chills in my body, you know, the imagination of what if something is wrong for sure. And so we got out of the house. We, we, we were wondering, do we go to school? Do we walk uh, to, uh, around, you know, the town and all that? And then um, just by God's grace, it happens that this child left the school for sure because the person who was going to pick him, uh, according to him, says he was late. So because the person was late, he decided to walk out of the school with other children that were walking out of the school, which was really, really wrong. And so you know what he did next? He walked all the way from school. A distance of, I don't know, is it 14 kilometers? You know, just walking across Rongai town, you know, coming home. And that was really dangerous for him, you know. And it was um, one of my nephews, again, found him on the road. Found him on the road and was like, is this not Ryan walking? Where is he headed to? You know, he's in school uniform and he's so tired. And so anyway, cutting the long story short, Ryan got home safe. But um, I some discipline because um, it was so wrong for him to leave school. He's not supposed to leave school. And for any child, if you're supposed to be picked, you have to stay. It's better to stay overnight and blame your parent for not coming rather than leaving school and your parent losing you or, or, or uh, getting your life in danger. So my, what was my point? My point is this. I was reminded just to come here and let you know that as a parent, whoever it is, even if you're a child, if you're watching this video, you're not born again. I just wanted to give you a, a, um, a secret of how to know about your coming life. It is possible. Yes, it's only God who knows the end from the beginning. But the gift of prophecy can be given to anyone who is, who, is, who is a desiring, anyone who is an intercessor, anyone who is a prayer warrior, anyone who is working with God. And there are those even who are not born again, but normally you receive dreams that later these things happen. And you just say, ah, me, I normally dream and it happens. You, you, know, take, you take it uh, like a joke. You don't take it serious. But I want to let you know it's a special gift. So you need to begin getting close to God because it will grow big. You will begin to see bigger things. 
the bible says um in i think it's jeremiah jeremiah 33 verse 3 is it um the bible says call to me and i will show you great and mighty things that you you know not huh yeah it's jeremiah 33 3. call to me and i will answer you and i will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know great and mighty things about your life that you do not know it's god is able to take you deeper into the things of his kingdom into the things concerning your life your destiny if you are somebody who is pursuing the things of god so that before anything happens if you're going to travel if you're going to do this there will be no major event that will catch you by surprise you will know that indeed i have designed this i have seen this amen hallelujah i hope i have um, inspired you i hope you have learned a thing or two and i hope you are going to remember that anytime you see anything happening remember it would have been revealed to you if you were a bit closer to god god bless you let us stay committed to him committed to his work committed to, to prayer and you will see god you will encounter god in jesus name amen